Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning, good evening, good night. Whenever this video reaches you, I just want to send my love and full to everybody. Hopefully, everybody's doing good. I just want to share this with you, with you real quick. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He died for our sins. He was buried, resurrected on the third day, seen of many witnesses. That's the gospel that our Apostle Paul says is the gospel. And he says, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Right? He, pre he declares the gospel in 1 Corinthians 15. It says, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and where ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he was seen as Cephas, then of the twelve, after that he was seen of above five hundred brethren, at once of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen in James, then of all the apostles, and last of all, he was seen in me also as of one born at a due time. So he said that is the gospel right there, you guys. He said that he declared unto you the gospel, right? And like he says in um, Galatians 1, 6, he says, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ into another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that would trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than you have received, let him be accursed. So he said that twice right there, and I believe the brother to be true. And, you know, these are the letters written by Paul. In Romans 1.16, he says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So it's all about believing on that gospel and what Christ did at Calvary, right? For our sins. He was made sin for us so that we might be made the righteous of God through him. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So it is a gift that we receive, and we receive it by believing on him and his righteousness. And Ephesians 1.13, it says, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So according to the scriptures, once you believe in that gospel, and you obey it, that's how you receive the Holy Spirit of promise. In Romans 10.9, it says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Ah, oh, excuse me. And in First Thessalonians four fourteen, I believe it is, says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even them which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. And it says in um first John, I believe it's four fourteen. It says, and we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. So believe on the Son of God, you guys, Jesus Christ. He came unto his own and his own received him not in Jerusalem. They gave him up to Pilate to be slain. They found no cause of death in him. As it is written, the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, so his own people, that fulfilled the psalm. And after they gave him up to Pilate to be slain, they crucified him, they buried him. So just like as the prophet Jonah was in the whale's belly for three days and three nights, so shall the son of man also be in the heart of the earth for three days and for three nights. And on the third day, God rose him from the grave, and he was witnessed by over 500 brethren, who are his witnesses, chosen witnesses, Unto the people. 
as it is written in the scripture. In Acts 13, our Apostle Paul preaches the word of salvation, right? It says, men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feared God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree, and they laid him in a sepulcher. But God raised him from the dead, and he was seen many days of them, which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings. So that was how he preached it right there. I just wanted to share this word with you guys, bring some glad tidings. You know, Romans 10, it says, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that's why I did this little live audio, you guys, so you guys can hear the word, you know, and believe on it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16, 30, 31. And thy house. So it's a common salvation as long as the whole house believes on the same gospel. It's only one gospel. Our Apostle Paul, he preaches in Acts 13 and declares it to the church in 1 Corinthians 15. So I just want to share that with you guys. You know, I pray you guys believe on it. Call upon the name of the Lord. It says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. So that's anybody and everybody being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, it says... For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So that's why I only boast on what Jesus did, because that's what saved me and nothing else. It's not of my own doing. It's all about what he did at Calvary. Believe on Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Have a good day, everybody. I said my love.